Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm working on a large package AC unit and we have a complaint that this unit is making a lot of noise. Let's go take a look at this issue. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech and we have a complaint from the customer that the unit's making a lot of noise I heard the unit running, it was okay. So my suspicion is during startup, we're having an issue. So I traced out the circuit. This contactor right here uh, is for our blower fan, our EVAP fan. So I'm just gonna push it in by hand and let's pay attention to see how this thing sounds. It must be on startup. Okay, so that first one or two seconds, it sounded terrible. And then from there, Everything is nice and quiet. We're gonna try it one more time. Hopefully you guys can catch that sound. Yeah, for a few seconds, it sounds terrible. All right. So we're gonna look into our blower fan. What about our condenser fan motors? got three condenser fan motors we started those those are completely fine all right problem here is your evaporator fan motor it's gonna be in this section what we're gonna do is first turn off the power don't want to lose your hand <laughs> let's see what's going on here Just recently changed this coil, new drain line here, new trap, new expansion valves, filter dryers, all that good stuff. Sweat on the coil, that is what I like to see. So this is our fan motor here. I need to get a ladder, but hold up. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Just when I spin this, it sounds terrible. It's like this belt is like being dug in here. I don't know what size is this? This is a BX71 belt. I do definitely want to change that. Let's see what kind of tension we have here. Hmm. It's hard to give you guys a view. It's not so tight. It's not so bad. All right, I have a brand new belt. This is a 5L740, which also correlates to B71. So let's start out by swapping out this. All right, now we're gonna be comfortable. So taking it off, it really shouldn't matter. You can stretch it out if you want to, kind of just by sliding it over to the side and kick, taking the belt off, but if it's too tight and that's not possible, the proper way really to do it is to loosen these two nuts and bolts for this plate. And then you can adjust these bolts here and that's gonna slide the motor bracket up and down so you can adjust the tension of the belt to easily and properly replace it. Nuts and bolts are terrible. Luckily, I was able to get it from the back. That one's loose. All right. Just loosen those. And now we could work these bolts. We could adjust this motor. You're really gonna want a socket set on this one. So you can see as we go this way, bracket is coming down so we actually want to loosen this up so let's adjust this and free this belt all right so here's the line that i drew and you can see a significant difference and look how much looser the belt is this thing will just kind of slide right off Just like that, fan belt comes out nice and easy. 
nothing I really noticed here but let's put in the new belt adjust the tension make sure everything's okay I don't want any of this getting loose in here make sure everything is tight as far as these keys and all some brand new belt Get that on in the back. I'm not sure if you guys can see. All right, belt is now on there. And now let's bring this bracket down to this line or wherever the tension works out here. about matched up with the line that I made my tension is pretty good we don't have that sound anymore I have a feeling just with this we're gonna be okay all right I like that tension now we can tighten this down So that's all taken care of. Let's close this up. Start this bad boy up. I heard no noise on startup. That sounds great. That is perfect. I'm gonna shut down the thermostat and I'm gonna push it in by hand so, so you guys can hear it for yourself. Wow, that's perfect. So the thermostat is behind here. This unit supports heating and cooling for the hallways of 16 floors. Right now, we're gonna put the unit in off. Fan in auto. The system's running in no schedule. The fan should stop any minute. Right there, it just stopped. Let's go up to the roof and push it in by hand and let's check out the starting operation. All right, it's the moment of truth. And it's about to rain, it's super foggy outside. This is a good time to get out of here. So where's that contactor right here? Mmm, now that's what I like to hear. That is beautiful. That is absolutely fantastic. We're gonna do that one last time. That sounds great. Quiet, quiet, quiet super smooth properly adjusted one last thing you always want to make sure is make with this is a three-phase system make sure that the fan is going in the correct direction uh, also uh, sometimes the motors have uh, grease ports sometimes you just don't see them so if you want to do that you're gonna you want to want to grease the shaft grease the bearings if you can and that's pretty much it seeing as this needs a little bit of maintenance and yeah it's a great job right there. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.